Hello everyone. Uh, today we are in Second Life and I'm on the beta grid here and I'm looking at PBR in Second Life here. So this is a sarcophagus I made, a King Tut sarcophagus, and it is gold, kind of. I don't know how good a job I did making it look like it's gold, and then comparing it to the Second Life PBR, but it looks pretty good to me. It looks close to what I um, created it to be. And I just wanted to do kind of a quick tutorial on how to do PBR if anybody wants to come on the beta grid and play with it or test it. Um, with PBR, we get this cool material asset which we can trade. If we go up here, we have a material asset here that we can trade and set permissions on and everything like that. And all of your textures are nicely compact in this thing that you could trade with. It could even, this could just be gold and you could trade a gold texture and anytime you needed gold, you could just throw this material on. So PBR, I just want to, I don't want to go over all the parts of PBR, but the really part, the part that might confuse people is this metallic roughness combination thing here. Well, normally you would have, um, where is my window? Don't tell me I lost it. Okay. Probably did lose it. There we go. Normally you would have a roughness material like this and a metallic material, but because they are black and white and you can kind of throw them on different channels to kind of save space and save texture space, that's what um, they have done here. So I want to go over how do you create this metalness, roughness texture? Because if you don't have this, um, you can't even play with, uh, if you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to play with um, PBR. So here is a little example of um, kind of what I was playing around doing. I don't know if you have to do all of this exactly like this, but I can kind of show you what's going on here. I have my three channels red blue or red green blue okay and each one of these this is just an empty alpha channel or nothingness channel and I have the blend mode or the blend option set to R only R and then this is set blend mode is set to screen okay and then on the the green one is the roughness map. So this one I have set it to green and set this, this to screen. And then blue. That is the metallic texture. That is set to B, blue, and then screen here. So there we go. We have our three layers. All three layers are showing. And now I can export this as a PNG. Just like that. And then in Second Life, you can... I know there's a lot of talk of this might like scare people. Oh, I need to use GTFL format and all this other stuff but no in second life you just need to use your textures upload a texture an image and then you can get that image and here is that roughness metallic and within here you can adjust things so let's say um, this is set to 9, but let's set it to 100. But let's say we wanted something that wasn't metallic. Now, we had metallic, 
and now we don't want metallic or we don't want it so intense so maybe 0.9 or something like that but most of the time on metallic you're gonna probably leave it at one and then roughness can go either way though depending on what the lighting is to depend depending on a lot of different things depending on the platform um so you might have used this texture in unreal which i kind of have and maybe it's a the roughness is a bit intense so i'll turn it down but i could turn it completely off too now that doesn't look great though but um 0.8 let's say that doesn't look too bad so you do have some control of those things in here i think i should turn it back up though because it looks too dull definitely i think i was right So technically, these are the same materials I would use in Unreal Engine. So uh, that's PBR in Second Life, everyone. Have a good one.